When most people find a Sacagawea dollar coin, like the ones in this video, they think that they've hit it rich, which, honestly, in some situations, can be the truth. In this video, I'm going to show you a few coins and tell you exactly what you need to be looking out for to see if they're actually rare or not. So back in the day, Cheerios, the type of cereal, had a giveaway, and they actually put some of these coins in the boxes of cereal. This coin you're looking at on the screen sold for $6,000, and it's considered to be one of those Cheerios dollar coins. Here's the thing. If the coin is in immaculate condition, like this one right here, it could be worth good money. 70 is the highest achievable grade in grading. This one was graded by PCGs at a mint state 68, so it's only two points away from that grade. Now, easier said than done. Most people that send their coins off to get graded end up wasting money and time because they don't know how to look at the condition of their coin. Again, here's the thing. Most of the time, the coins like this that are being found are in pretty poor condition and are not worth sending off to get graded. Let's look at these coins really quick. These are good examples of coins that are in heavily circulated condition. They're not in the best shape whatsoever, and most of the time, these coins are only worth a few dollars. Now, you can visually see the difference between a coin that sold for a dollar or two versus a coin that sold for $6,000. So condition is king when it comes to these 2,000 saw dollar coins. Make sure that if you have one in good condition, you keep it safe. Get it evaluated before sending it off to get graded because you could have a coin worth a ton of money. If you enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next video up above on the screen.